Good morning and welcome to the teacher's wake up call. It's been a, it's been a bit. I, I don't think I posted anything last week. Did I? Did I? I don't think I did. Uh, I apologize for the noise outside my classroom door. Uh, there are students who are getting ready to head off on their school trip and they decided to congregate around my classroom. Fun times. Um, so uh, I am I am thinking about all of the work that I have to do in the next week, week and a half. Uh, and, that's, and that's like, you know, apart from the, the, the usual prep and stuff that I do in class. And, and I'm working on um, my school-based Comic-Con project again this year. Um, I'm talking about corrections. I'm talking about, about getting ready to submit grades for the term and I'm kind of like, I don't want to say overwhelmed, but I have that feeling that I, I, I have a bit too much work to do. So this is where I'm going to have to get creative in, in how I, I assess my students. I, d I don't want to say that I'm not going to assess my students. It's always important to assess your students and to evaluate their progress and and to give them chances and that's what I wanted to focus on today in today's installment of the teachers wake up call um, I got a a very interesting compliment last week from a student who is not okay he, the kid the kid is interesting they're 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 definitely potentially has been um, a comments about his behavior in class. I can only imagine how he was when he was in grade seven, but I have him in grade 11. And he's the kind of kid I've had before in other circumstances, in another school. But he's talented. Like we cannot, we cannot say just because a kid has behavior problems, they're automatically terrible at school. No, that's you. You can't say that. You can't. You can't say that. He's a talented kid. He has uh, a very creative mind. He likes thinking outside the box. But he's a bit of a, a speed demon. So when when he's told, "Hey, you know, you owe me, you owe me these three assignments," he kind of rushes through them and he finished two assignments in one class when he should have spent you know two classes okay see see where I'm getting at I'm not saying it couldn't have been it, it can't be done it can be done it's just it's just for a grade 11 kid it's it's a lot and consequently he did not get a grade that was reflective of his actual skills. It was, a, it, was, it was barely a pass, barely a pass, 12 on 20. I like grading things on 20, makes it easy to calculate at the end of term. So I told him, you know, this, this is not you. This is, this is not you. Like I've, I've seen other assignments, like 12 on 20, that's, that's less than mid. And I told him, like he, he could resubmit it and he he kind of looked at me it's like you're telling me I can redo it yes please you can redo it you can redo like the questions he didn't do well and he paused and he sincerely like there's always this like undertone of of jesting when he talks humor um, a certain joie de vivre. And he, he kind of like looked at me seriously. He said, I wish my math teacher were like you. Now, the fact that he was comparing me to his math teacher, I don't do math. It's like, don't, don't. Even if, if you're saying that I'm, I'm, it's like comparing apples and oranges, okay? It's two different subjects, okay? Two different subjects. Um, but it made me think about how I operate in class and how I view student success. And student success, 
cannot be evaluated, assessed in one try. And especially when it comes to a second language, because you have to kind of connect with the topic, the second language, in order for true learning to happen. So I do believe in giving them a second chance to improve when it wasn't that great. Like if a kid gets an 80, 16 on 20, I'm not going to give them the chance to like, because it, I think, I think the 80 is very satisfactory, not just for me as an evaluator, as a teacher, but also for the student. A student can get a certain satisfaction out of, out of that kind of grade because I, I, don't get me started on on why we shouldn't be only focusing on grades. It's, we're we're in a society where that number uh, is is highly valued, and then we wonder why kids have neuroses. You know, um, so so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start talking about that. I'm gonna start I'm gonna talk about how I view success, how I view the whole process. I don't want to give that second chance to those students who have the passing grade, who have the, the, the very comfortable result, if you want to call it comfortable. And I know that for a lot of students, when it's like, I think 80 is that magic number. If you are over, if you have something over 80, if you, if you, if you are a student that averages over 80, um, I, I think there's a certain satisfaction. Um, but then I've also had students who got 80s when I clearly knew they could do better. Like, yeah, no, 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 no. Like, you're normally a 90, 95 kid, even 100. So, and I don't want to say that I give grades easily. I don't think I evaluate them um, so that they will always get the best grade possible. I think I do challenge them. But at the same time, there's challenging and then there's creating obstacles and roadblocks. And is that pedagogically sound? Some will say, yes, you need to give them that, that opportunity to develop more skills, but when, when do those obstacles stop being fun little challenges and uh, motivational killers? You know, I, I've been in situations where, where, where kids sincerely, be, my God, they are loud back there. <laughs> it's just getting louder and louder. Um, I've been in situations where students had given up so much because they were always getting failing grades. And you never want to end up in that position. So yeah, so I'm going to be that teacher that will give second chances. I will be that teacher who will, who will tell you, you can do better. I will be that teacher um, who, will, who will help make sure you achieve that. And for some students, it's just, like, it, it's just a question of, of getting that nudge. They rather mail it in and get whatever they get because they just want to be done with it. And that's never a good thing. That's never a good thing. I will never, I'll never accept that. You know, um, it's, it's, it's hard for me to, to tolerate that type of attitude in, in my class. It's like, sure, you can have an off day, but it's just one day, all right? So on that lovely note, I'm gonna finish my breakfast oatmeal, which is a, a lovely mixture of, of spices and dried fruit and applesauce and, that's going to like fuel my day. On that lovely note, folks, have yourselves an awesome day.